Hey guys, Ben Burke here. Today we're packing up a range bag for a day of clay target shooting. So why is it important we have a well-packed range bag? Well, first of all, it helps us prepare. Uh, mentally, we want to make sure that we're prepared. We're not forgetting anything. Uh, we, when we leave home or we leave our vehicle, we've got everything we need to be successful and it's going to really help us focus on breaking that next target, uh, being on time to our assigned field, and uh, just having a good successful day all around. So. Let's run through some of the things uh, for your range bag, and I've kind of broken this down into some things. Uh, first part, things that are essential, and the second part are things that are nice to have. And uh, a lot of shooters opt to have two different range bags. So one bag will go to the field, wherever they go, their range bag goes, and the other the other bag may stay in the vehicle. Uh, and if, if the weather changes or something happens, they've got that backup bag; they can get to it quickly, but don't necessarily need it right there all the time. So. Let's start out with the essentials here, kind of going through the list. Um, obviously, we need eye and ear protection. Uh, we want to make sure that's there. It's ready to go. Uh, you know, as you're starting out, you don't need anything fancy. Uh, just a basic pair of uh, impact resistance clear glasses will work just fine. Um, as you get into the sport and want to do more, uh, want to really fine tune things, you could get a set uh, that has some interchangeable lenses. Um, so if the lighting conditions change, uh, you can change out your lenses pretty quickly uh, to, to match those lighting conditions. Uh, hearing protection, again, it's, it's essential, uh, but it's personal preference. So there's a variety of uh, foam earplugs uh, that fit. And, and the key here is to make sure they fit properly, make sure they're inserted properly. There is a correct way to insert earplugs. Uh, so if you're going to wear disposable plugs, uh, get, get a, a kind that has a high noise reduction rating and make sure they're inserted correctly. Uh, we have an inexpensive over the ear uh, type of muff and uh, these work well. Uh, some shooters don't like them because they're a little bit bulky. They may interfere with the gun mount, uh, but overall they work well. Uh, another option for that would be one that's uh, electronic. And so the way these work is they amplify the sound of normal sounds, but they block out uh, loud noises such as shotgun blasts. So uh, these work well. So it's a great idea. You can double up, uh, wear foam plugs, insert those, and then put on a pair of muffs over the top of it for uh, even increased noise reduction. So here we have some barrel pads. So pretty much all youth shotgun programs have uh, banned uh, the practice of putting your muzzle on your toe. Um, a lot of uh, adult leagues and uh, associations still permit that, but it's a great habit um, no matter who you are to keep that muzzle off your toe. Instead, use a pad. So uh, there's foam pads. These have magnets in them so the shotgun barrel can uh, pick it up. And then we have uh, a leather style pad that's a little more durable. It's going to last you a little bit longer but works the same way. Um, obviously we need a place to put our ammunition. So a shell pouch um, is one option. The other option is a vest. So uh, there's different options uh, with pouches and vests. This particular pouch just is divided here. Uh, we've got a towel ring on it with a towel. Uh, we've got a wad knocker in case you have a, a wad stuck in the barrel. It's a quick way to get it out of there. Um, another option for a pouch would be a single box pouch. Uh, here we have a place for a couple extra shells. Holds one box and then we have a large uh, pouch on the bottom to hold your empties in. Um, some other things here. Water, you want to make sure you're drinking, uh, hydrating. Uh, all throughout the day, even if the weather's cold. Uh, one of the first places that we uh, lose water is in our eyes. And uh, folks, as you know, shotgun sports are highly visual. So as we're, our eyes dehydrate, uh, we're not seeing the target as well. So make sure you're sipping water throughout the day. Uh, make sure your, your uh, water container has a, a cap on it so you can close that cap out. You don't want to have any uh, lead contaminants get in there. Uh, speaking of lead, as we handle ammunition, uh, that lead can get on our fingers and that's not a big deal but then if we don't wash our hands and we go to eat uh, then that lead can get you know, in our digestive system and in our bloodstream so a uh, great thing to have is some heavy metal removing wipes um, to keep in your range bag so when you're finished shooting or handling ammunition um, you can wipe your hands down uh, sunscreen um, critical thing to have uh, make sure you're putting that on and, and reapplying it throughout the day if it's hot and sunny uh, insect repellent is important to have um, if you get into some of these ranges that don't have a lot of air moving and, uh, and it's wet. Uh, the mosquitoes are out or other bugs. Uh, it'll help keep you comfortable. 
uh, less distractions. Uh, shooting journal, this is a great tool to have, uh, part of your mental game. Uh, you should be keeping one of these, so a great way at the end of the day to write down uh, what went well and what you need to work on at the next practice session. So um, just a great way to log your practices too. Again, same thing, what went well, what do you need to work on next time. Uh, it's right there, it's handy, you can review it. Uh, as soon as you're done shooting, it's available. You don't have to go back to your vehicle or wait till you get home. Uh, we are going to forget uh, maybe how, how things went for the day. Um, ammunition, obviously you've got to have ammunition. So uh, if you're shooting 100 targets, uh, you want to bring at least five boxes of shells. Okay. Now, the reason for that is if we have some broken targets or we have a, uh, a malfunction of some kind or, or something happens where we're uh, using an extra round or a couple extra rounds, uh, you don't want to be the guy or the gal that's got to go back to the vehicle, get another box of shells and hold up the squad uh, to come back out and finish your rounds. So having an extra box in your bag on the range is going to make sure that you're, you're ready to go. So the last thing I'm going to talk about uh, that I think you should consider in your range bag is just a, a simple tennis ball or something that you can use to warm up your eyes uh, before you go out and shoot. So just playing some toss uh, with the squad mate of yours is a great way to warm up your eyes, get your hand-eye hand coordination going before you step out on the range. So good thing to have in your bag. Next thing we're going to cover is uh, some of the optional things that you may want to consider in a second bag that you're going to leave in your vehicle um, or not necessarily have to bring on the range, but you can get uh, pretty quickly if you need to. So uh, starting out with uh, a towel. Um, so if it rains or uh, the grass is dewy or, uh, you know, you're finding yourself having to wipe off your hands a lot if you're sweaty. An extra towel is handy to have close by. Uh, if it rains, obviously having an umbrella. Um, while you can't bring an umbrella to the range with you um, while you're shooting, at least you could have it potentially covering your, your range bag and your gear to keep that dry. Uh, obviously some rain gear, uh, so a good, good rain jacket, and I've got some pants underneath here. Uh, these are good not just for rain, but if it's windy outside, um, it helps keep the wind off you and can keep you a lot more comfortable during the round. Uh, if it's cold out, some hand warmers are nice to have. Again, you can uh, shake these up. You can put them in your, in your pockets of your vest or your, your shell pouch and, and have them handy to keep your hands warm. And along that same line, having some gloves. Um, Again, gloves that have good dexterity. You don't want anything that's too thick. Um, you know, it's good to have that feel of the trigger, feel of the gun uh, as you're shooting targets. So just a good pair of thin gloves that are warm. Uh, one other thing you might consider if you're shooting uh, registered targets with one of the Clay Target Associations, uh, keeping your membership card and your shoot history form uh, with you in your bag is handy to have. A lot of times that's requested at registration, so it's good to have it handy uh, when you're heading out to a competition. So just some other things you might consider adding to your range bag, uh, just some snacks. Um, it's important that when you're between rounds uh, during the day that you don't go out and eat a big heavy meal. Uh, so having some uh, high protein, high energy snacks to go along with the water that you're drinking all day uh, will help keep you full of energy uh, without making sure you're not full and, and tired and sluggish going out for that next round. So there you have it, guys. Having a well-equipped range bag is going to make sure you're able to go out to your next round focus on breaking the next target, and have a good, successful day. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.